Hey there guys, I'm Hello Japan, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed 2. This time we're in sequence 2. Sadly, last time we witnessed our father and both of our brothers getting hanged? Hung? Getting hung. I think that's a proper past tense. And uh, luckily our mother shocked because I think... Something terrible happened to her, and I just don't want to say it, but something terrible happened to her. And our sister were lucky, you know, enough to actually make it out of this whole ordeal. And right now they're staying with, I believe, the sister of one of our family's maids. So, right now, we kind of have to get there. <laughs> because the guards are actually looking for us. If you look in the top left, our little assassin symbol is red. And that means that the guards are looking for us and we're notorious. So... We gotta try and get where we're going without raising too much suspicion. But anyway, this time we are gonna finish up sequence two. I don't know how long it actually is compared to. You know, actually, I'll turn my audio down. I don't know how long it is compared to sequence one. Uh, I looked online and it looks about the same ish in length as the, the first one. I'm not sure. But, um. Maybe a little bit shorter. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay, so we have to... Get Vawa going without getting caught. Uh, sorry about that, dude. Uh, you know what? Let's go up this way. Because I don't think they're on the... Yep, they're not on the rooftops. Awesome. Or at least some of them aren't on the rooftops. Okay. How far do we have to go? Holy shit. Oh, we're really close. Again, this whole map is like the frame rate is terrible. <laughs> I have no idea why it's that low. It's like really, really weird. Oh, it's really strange, guys. Uh, we're actually going to go do the viewpoint first. Uh, I'm not going to do all the viewpoints first. I'm just going to do some of them. But we're still going to do uh, viewpoints first. Okay, this way. Yeah, but anyway, it's been a little while, a couple days since I've actually recorded the first session of this. Only because I don't, uh... <laughs> I only have, truthfully, for Assassin's Creed 1, I only have the first... Eight? Or no, episode eight will be going up tonight as of the rec as of recording... Or, yeah, as of recording this, episode eight of Assassin's Creed 1 is going to be going up. So, I told you guys I like to record you know, gameplay way ahead of time, but I wasn't exaggerating when I said way ahead of time. So, <laughs> yeah, give an idea. That's why I don't like to include, uh, you know, everyday events like that are happening around the world that I used to talk about, only because I record these so far ahead of time now that it'll be old news by the time, you know, it comes, you know, this video comes out. That's why I kind of like to keep personal stories and things like that. But anyway, synchronize. There we go. So, let's get where we're going. 8 of 66. Ugh. Dicks, don't find me. There we go. Awesome. We made it here without getting caught. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Messer Ezio. Annetta speaks quite highly of you. I can see why. I appreciate the kind words, Madonna. Ti prego, call me Paola. Thank you for offering your home to my family, Paola. It was the least I could do. You must be tired. Perhaps you'd... No, grazie. I can't stay. Why? Where are you going? To kill Uberto Alberti. I understand your desire for vengeance. But the Gonfaloniere is a powerful man. You are not a killer, Ezio. Spare me the lecture. But I can make you one. And why are you going to teach me how to kill? I'm not. 
I'm going to teach you how to survive. Come. Yeah, so our... Our dear old mother and sister were brought to a brothel. Kind of fun. <laughs> Not a family friendly family friendly environment, but hey. <laughs> I guess it works. In my profession. We must walk the streets freely, seen but unseen. You two must learn to blend like us and become one with the city's crowds. My girls will show you how. Yeah, so this I kind of mentioned this earlier. You can actually You can practice with me anytime. <laughs> you can hire the groups, but this is more so just blending. See, uh, if, like you're, if you're with you a if you're with a group of people or a cluster of people, you can like right there, right behind her, right now. There's a group of people. So if you're trying to get away from the guards, you can stand in a group and uh, blend in, and the guards will not notice you. Yeah, so we have to kind of follow along, but if we as long as we're with a cluster. The guards won't notice us. So there you go. See, the guards started noticing us. But now that we jump in with jumped in with a cluster of people, the guards paid no mind. As long as the cluster doesn't break up, we should be okay. There we go. I can get far away enough from them until I break off. Oh, let me back in. <laughs> okay, we should be good now. And there we go. So yeah, pretty, pretty cool uh, mechanic. You will be using that quite a bit, to tell you the truth. Um, personally though, my favorite thing is, is, uh, just hiring the, the, the prostitutes to kind of hang around with you. It's, it works a little bit better in the sense that the you, uh, ooh, don't mind me, in the sense that you can, uh, uh, use the prostitutes to actually distract the guards. So like right now, if I had them with me, I could use the girls to just walk up and distract them. So that's one thing I could do. Damn it. Oh, and then when you're and then when you're with a group, they won't mind you. Oh, don't push me around. <laughs> Yo, man, I'm not doing anything. Dicks. Group. Thank you. Where are you going? Ah. Yeah, so this is basically... The first while of this game is just basically a big tutorial. Really... Oh, oh, glitch in the Matrix. Really just, <laughs> really just explaining a lot of these new gameplay mechanics to you. And truthfully, they're not really that complex. They're all pretty straightforward. And I think, you know, you wouldn't really have to use a whole section of the game to sh explain it to you. But then again, some people just wouldn't understand it. Wouldn't get it, be like, well, I don't, I don't get it. But, yeah. Anyway, we'll hire, we'll probably end up hiring the, the girls to help us, you know, at some point. Ben, now that you've learned to blend, I'll show you how to use it for more than just moving around. Let's teach you how to steal. Oh, pickpocket. Once you've stolen from someone, Ezio, you mustn't linger. Help! Somebody's... What? Oh, my money. Someone's <laughs> taken my money. I feel so bad for taking money from her. Oh, shit! Did you see that? That was MLG stealing right there. MLG thievery. <laughs> Yo, and we're done now. That was cool, man. I like that. <laughs> you can go now, girls. Oh, do we have to? So innocent. He's cute. You now probably have syphilis. Have how to approach the enemy? We need to find you a suitable weapon. What would you have me use? Ah, but you already have the answer. Hey, my father's blade and bracer. How did you get them? <laughs> By using the same skills I've just taught you. It's not exactly in working condition. I assume you're familiar with Leonardo da Vinci. See, si. 
But how does a painter factor into this? He's far more than that. Bring him the pieces. You'll see. Before I go, one last question, if I may. Of course. Why have you given your aid so readily to me, a stranger? I too know betrayal. Ooh. Burned. Okay. Gonna go see our good old friend.